Back in 2003, NASA scientists caused quite a hype when they discovered the deepest pitch of sound ever measured in the universe. Researchers had found the sound waves within the hot gas at the center of the Perseus Cluster. Perseus Cluster is a group of galaxies in the Perseus constellation. Unfortunately, they couldn't hear that sound, as it was 57 octaves below middle C, which is far beyond the range of perception of the human ears. Now, through sonication, which is the process of translating astronomical data into sound, NASA has succeeded in bringing these sounds into the field of human perception by extending them. The resulting audio data are heard 288 quadrillion times higher than their original frequency. Audio is another way of analyzing and evaluating astronomical data. However, the special thing about this sonication is that this time the actual sound waves becomes audible. The space agency explains that it is a common misconception that there are no sound waves in space because most of the universe is a vacuum and sound waves cannot travel in the vacuum of space. However, a galaxy cluster contains large amounts of gases that envelop hundreds or thousands of galaxies. Unlike a vacuum, a gas can transmit sound waves. This is also the case for the black hole in the Perseus cluster. The blast waves emanating from the black hole caused ripples in the hot cluster of gas, which has now been translated into this deep sound. Enjoy this amazing sound of a black hole that sounds like a portal to another dimension. In addition to the sound of the black hole, in the Perseus galaxy cluster, another sonification of a famous black hole was released. While the sound of a black hole in the Perseus cluster was terrifying, the second audio sounds like it was composed for a spa area. Studied by scientists for decades, the black hole in the M87 galaxy gained celebrity status after the first ever image of a black hole was released. The second audio, was created using the astronomical data from the black hole of Messier 87 galaxy. It was presented both visually and acoustically. It used data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, optical light from the Hubble Space Telescope, and radio waves from the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile. Here's that sound. The brightest area to the left of the image is where the black hole is, and the structure in the upper right is a jet from a black hole. Sonication runs through the three-level image, from left to right, with each wavelength associated with a different set of sound tones. The brightest part of the image corresponds to the highest sonication, which contains a black hole with a solar mass of 6.5 billion suns. 